of Vlogmas. Now, I woke up today and I found out that I got evicted. <laughs> and when I say evicted, you guys, let me turn around and show you guys. The tree is now over here in what used to be my office area, right? This is my office area. My desk is now right here. It used to be over there, so I got evicted. At first, we had it all our tree over here in the corner. That's where you've seen it at. But he moved the table all the way over. Herbie moved the table all the way over. Put my desk right here in the middle, and then he put the tree by the window. He kept saying he wanted the tree by the window, but I just don't understand why. Why does that matter? <laughs> but it's okay. I still like the layout. So now I'm right here with my desk. So right here, I'll just I'll just be right here on my desk right here. So kind of got evicted today. But um, today I want to talk to you guys about stocking stuffers. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about the stocking stuffers, how you get it for really cheap for those people that need to get those things. And I'm going to go to the mall with my little ones today because I want us to see where we're going to take our pictures at because we're going to take our pictures in the mall. So I'm going to go to the mall today. Kind of get a little hint from my oldest about what she want what she want give me some hints what's going on <laughs> the little one's still into mystery mode right and um we're gonna start putting up the decorations so i'll show you guys tomorrow our decorations for the outside but today let's go ahead and get into the stocking stuffers so let me show you guys where i get my stocking stuffers from and how i can keep it under about ten dollars per kid so I did stocking stuffers for my little ones and this is where I go. I go to the Dollar Tree to get the stocking stuffers. So they have a whole Christmas area here at the Dollar Tree. They have a whole Christmas area here. So they have stockings that you can get here and they all a dollar. And I usually try to just put like 10 things in the stockings, but let me show you a few things that I put in my kids stockings this year. So here's more stockings that you guys can actually choose from. So they have a little piggy. I like these <laughs> snowman. They have the kitty cat, the elves. And then too, they, they even have frozen down there, Mickey Mouse, the Avengers. We did that last year though. So we actually got some different kind of like those kind where we colored it. That's what we did. And we put our name on it. We all colored ours. That was what I decided that we was gonna do. And I started to fill them up. I started to fill everybody thing up. So like I said, I try to keep around $10 per kid with Phillips, right? 10 things they can get. So I got them a coloring book. They have a lot of coloring books here for a dollar that you can get. I got them some pencils. And these right here, it's 12 pencils in here and I have four kids. So they was able to get three pencils a piece. So that was good. I got some erasers, the Christmas erasers. I know they're gonna love those. I also got them some stamps, which is re um, really nice. They like to do like the different stamps. And I found something really cool over here. I said they still have it because I actually been here a few days ago. It don't look like they have it, but you can get different um, candy ideas on what you want to put in there. I know I got some of these for the kids. I put these in there. And this is for one person. So that's really nice. And the candy's inside. They can make their own snowman. On the back of it, you can see. They don't want to focus, y'all. <laughs> you can make your own snowman. And then they have the Pop Rocks candy cane flavor. But they have a lot of different candies you can put in there. If you have multiple kids, you can buy something like this. If you give your kids marshmallows, it's five of them in here. You can just divide it. You can buy packs of candy like this, which I have done. I bought some packs of candies. Like I bought um, the milk chocolate and then I divided it into, I put a few in each one of them stocking just so they can get more things and they can kind of share that dollar. And let's see what else I got for them. They had, oh, here it is right here. This is what I was telling y'all about. The hot cocoa bomb, hot chocolate bomb. So what you do is it's basically a hot chocolate. It's the marshmallows and the cocoa inside, and then it's chocolate on the outside. So you just drop it in your cup of hot water, and it'll melt. I got myself that, but I got that for the kids, too. <laughs> but they have a lot of different candy, too, as you can see. Here that you can get. They even have some mini peppermint sippers. 
mainly you can drink out of it's just a peppermint cup if you guys want to get them their own chocolate bar you can get them now they even have rudolph that's really nice uh oh i'm dropping candy y'all that's really nice you can get rudolph, rudolph. So yeah, I got all of those different things, but I also got this and I divided it. It was four of them in a pack, so it was perfect for us. I got these, but it's so many different things you could put in their stockings in, t in terms of like their candy. But let me show you like the other things that I put in their stocking. So I came to the toy aisle. This is the toy aisle here. And I just got a few things. Like my kids love to do these. They like to get the glow sticks. So a few of them got glow sticks. I know I got like my little one, a mask, a Star Wars mask. That was really nice. But you can just pick and choose like what toys you want to put in there. I already put a few toys in there. And I'm going to let them actually open up um, their stockings on Christmas Eve. That's something they can do. But yeah, it's a lot of little things you could put in there. Something for Frozen, something for Minnie Mouse. They have some Barbie dolls on there. A big thing of bubbles. If you buy them bubbles, you need to refill it. They even have the little bubble pops which is the poppets basically y'all know the kids love those that's a dollar compared to going somewhere else if your kids want but yeah they have a lot of different things here you can get i know i had got my daughter this right here she loves this with the fake earrings in it and the rings i try to just it's just a stocking to me I just try to just put little mini things in there that I know that they'll love. And I don't really take it that serious when I just get things for them. Cause I know he's gonna be happy cause it's a lot of stuff in there. T just think 10 things. And if you buy the candy where it's a lot in the pack, you can get even more. They'll basically get more for their, their 10 items. But yeah, it's like a lot of things that you can actually get here. Put in their stockings. And if you guys are going on like vacation for Christmas, especially if you like going to Florida, the warm weather, you guys can get like the swimming goggles, the ball, beach ball, these little things that you guys can actually get. Um, they got the bubbles down here too, which is really good. But yeah. And don't forget with the coloring books, you can get crayons. You can get them some stuff over here too, the educational stuff. Get them flashcards. It's really good if you could put some flashcards inside of there stocking some markers my oldest daughter she's 12 so i got her some i didn't get her these i think i did get her these pens they like colorful pens and i like colorful pens so i figure she'll like them too and they have like the different type of crayons so they have like the wonder woman here they have the trolls here and then they have the mickey mouse up here and the princesses and then jurassic world there but yeah, they have so many different books. So if you want to get them some books so they can learn, it's just whatever you think that your kid will like, you should get it for them. But that's how I did the stocking stuffers. I will make sure I show you everything that I actually individually got. <clears throat> Excuse me. I actually individually got for each kid. So you guys, these are the stockings that we actually got for the little ones. Um, we got them for the Dollar Tree. So you can see we got Daddy mommy leah jamal janice joshua and then baby jay the little baby so i had them color them because it was the kind where they can actually color them so they had a chance to color them um we see we just don't have ours color yet maybe they'll help us out with coloring those joshua can y'all help us color ours y'all yeah. gonna help mommy uh -huh. A beautiful rainbow. Okay, perfect. Mama, I'm going to be purple yours. Yes, purple is my favorite color. Yes, so these are all of the stockings. So let's show you um, where we get them and then what we're going to put in them. Yeah. 
Okay, so let me show you what I got. And I kind of can know what it is based off of, you know, whose bag it is. So all of my kids, I got them, they own like all eight stuff in one Dollar Tree bag. But oh, this is my son, Jamal, my six year old. This is his stocking stuffers. So these are the things that I actually got for him to go on his stocker stu stocking stuffer. Y'all seen them look candies that was individual. He got a few of those in there. One thing I did forget to put in here though, you guys, oops, is some erasers. So I gotta put some erasers in here to go on his um, pencils. And he forever needed a pencil too, y'all. So that's perfect. But this is all the things that I actually got for him. And I always try to keep it under like $10. Like don't forget this was four in a pack for a dollar. Um, this was a dollar a piece, but this was the um, hot chocolate bomb where you just drop it in the hot water. It already has the um, chocolate and the mini marshmallows all in one. So you just drop it in the cup and it'll melt. And it's hot chocolate. The stamps too. They got two stamps. It was eight of them in a the pack for a dollar. I know they love these things. And then they got I made, got them like a small little journal because they like to write. Things like that. He loved glow sticks. So I got him some glow sticks. The fun dip. I got him that. Oh, yeah. And then look. My kids love these little towels because they can clean themselves with these um, towels. All you have to do is open it up and then it expands. And they like to clean themselves with this towel. It's a little rough, but they like these towels. So I don't try to knock them. Now when they come down to these towels. So let's go to the next bag. Because this is all for Jamal. And he's six just in case you guys want to know. He'll be seven next Friday. So yep. That's all of his things. So here is the next bag that we have. This is for my three year old. Loves Paw Patrol. So I got him Paw Patrol coloring book. I got him some Christmas socks. I got him some Baby Shark shampoo. <laughs> this was at the dollar store. He loved Baby Shark, so I know he would have loved that. He loved to wear a different type of mask, so I got him a Star Wars mask. Um, I got him this, too, because he likes to um, do Frisbees and stuff like that, so I got him that. He also got a lot of chocolates, just like um, Jamal did. They got the same candy cane, too, of chocolates. I was thinking too, maybe I should put this on a tree with their name on it, but I don't know yet. Oh, I got him this little minion. <laughs> he loves the minions. I also got him a book because he liked to write too. Um, he got quite a few towels too because he loved towels and stuff like that. So I got him the, the uh, Paw Patrol. I got him the Hawk one. He got one of the ring pops. He got stamps just like um, Jamal got. So that's really cool. And he got a chocolate bomb too. I got one of these too. I'm gonna do it with him. <laughs> but that's everything for him. Only thing is, is I did not give him any erasers. So as I'm doing this, you guys, I'm just putting the erasers in there that I forgot to put in there in the fir at the first. Cause he writes and everything, especially um, going to his preschool, he writes. So that'd be really nice for him to take to school or just have at home. So that's all for Joshua. He's three years old. I know he's gonna love all these different things. So let's go to the next person. Now this bag right here is for my 12 year old. I got her some mechanical pencils. Y'all know, she in the seventh grade. So you know she like this type of stuff. Got her some mechanical pencils, some colorful pens. I got her some slime cause she still likes slime. Um, I actually got her some socks too. So some Christmas socks. Everybody actually got Christmas socks. Some acne wash. She said she's starting to get little little bumps in her face, so I kind of wanted to get her some of this so that she can start trying to clean her face. And it's an off-brand version. It was from the dollar store, but you can see too, they got that acid in there that's basically in all of the um, face washing, acne, different type of soaps. She also got one of these candy canes which with the chocolates in there. She got some more chocolates here. She also got some stamps here. I love Santa and the little gift bag. I like that. I should use those for my um, savings challenges that I'm doing. Make sure you guys follow the savings challenges that I'm doing. Um, the ring pop, glow sticks. She got her hot cocoa bomb. I got her this book. She probably give it to her sister, but I figure it'll be something that's a gift to her. 
I got her a book too for writing. Another fun dipstick fun dipsticks and she got her some pencils some glow sticks so yeah this is everything that she got she's 12 years old um she's still into some things kiddish should i say like with the slime and stuff like that she still like that type of stuff and candy you can't go wrong with it but i got her these mechanical pencils and stuff i know that's kind of different than the other ones but i'm gonna give her some of these erasers because me as an adult i still like this type of stuff so i know she does too so here's the four different kinds. I'm gonna give her those. Actually, I'm gonna give her one of the extra. It's, it's gonna be two extra, so let me give her that one. And then my son, I'll give him an extra one too. So let's go to that last bag, which is my daughter's bag, the four-year-old. Let's look and see what she got. Now this is for my four, this is for my four-year-old, soon to be five-year-old. They had these little dolls up there, which I thought was really cute at the Dollar Tree. So I got her that. Oh, I got her the scented markers. She loves to color, you guys. She loved to color. So I got her these scented markers. And if you guys hear somebody cutting the grass, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why they're cutting the grass right now, but they're doing it. Um, she got some stamps just like everybody else. She got her fun dipstick, her hot chocolate, chocolate candy cane, her um, ring pop. Um, here's her towel, which is a frozen towel. So she likes frozen. And here's another doll that they had for her. A coloring book, frozen coloring book. I got her a book too, cause she loves to write. She loves to write. She got perfect handwriting too. And here is, it's like a little play set. So for Halloween, she had a princess um, suit on and they had the fake earrings but she broke them and she was really sad that she broke them that fast so i got her some more of the fake earrings some rings and some bracelets she loved that and again her chocolates her pencils her stamps so the only thing that she's missing here's another chocolate is her erasers so the only thing she's missing is her erasers but that's everything for princess, y'all. That's everything for princess. So now I showed y'all everything that is in their bags. Now I have to go ahead. I'm going to start doing my daughter's hair right now, getting her ready so that we can go. And because her hair is a mess, so we go so we can go to the mall. And after I get her ready, so we can go to the mall. I can braid her hair up. I'll probably just do something. Probably I just probably braid it tomorrow. I'm just gonna um. Get her ready, then we're gonna go to the mall, you guys. But thank you so much for watching this vlog. I just want to show you my stocking stuffers, <laughs> me getting evicted, <laughs> me getting evicted the stocking stuffers and how you can keep it under $10 per kid. I know my kids gonna really love this. I think I'm gonna let them have this um, Christmas Eve. I'm gonna have them all stuffed and I'll show you guys that journey too. I have them all stuffed Christmas Eve. I'll do a nice breakfast Christmas Eve for the kids. And yeah, you guys, I'll bring you along with that journey, but Today is only day four. It's the 4th of December, so we got a little time. We got 20 more days, and probably the baby will be here by then, too, because I already, I'm going to have a home birth right in my bathroom. My bathroom mess. Don't look at it too tough. <laughs> I'm going to have it right there. Um, had a baby in my tub, so that's what the plan is for me to have a home birth. I had one before. I plan on having one again, but... Maybe the baby will be here and out. you guys will see that too. You guys will see that vlog. So make sure you guys stick around for that too. So you can see the home birth. But let me go ahead and get ready. I'm going to upload this video. Do my daughter's hair. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to start doing the decorations today for the outside. So I'll show you that tomorrow. Bye-bye.